Thanks for coming, folks. I've been thoroughly briefed by all the agencies in the federal government as to the situation, based on what we know now. I have tried to get a hold of Donald. Uh, he's with his doctors. Uh, they Apparently, he's doing well. I plan on talking to them shortly, I hope, when I get back to the uh, telephone. Look, there's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. And so, and I want to thank the Secret Service and all the agencies, including the state agencies, that have been engaged in making sure that the people who, and we have more detail to come relative to other injured, other people maybe injured in the audience. I don't have all that detail. We'll make that available to you. I may be able to come back a little later tonight, but we'll put out a statement if we don't, if I'm not able to get, if, we're, if it's not convenient for you all. But the bottom line is that the Trump rally was a rally that he should have been able to can be conducted peacefully and without any problem. But the idea, the idea that there's political violence or violence in America like this is just unheard of. It's just not appropriate. And we, everybody, everybody must condemn it. Everybody. I'll keep you informed. And if I am able to speak to, the, to Donald, I'll, I'll let you know that as well. But so far, it appears he's doing well, number one. Number two, that they're thoroughly investigating what happened to anyone else in the audience. I have, we have some reports, but not final reports. And every agency in the federal government, I'll be, and I'm going back to, to my phone to speak with the federal agencies that are being put together again to give me an updated briefing. Has anything happened? They learned any more in the last couple hours. So thank you very much, and I hope I get to speak to them tonight, and I'll get to, back to you if I do, okay? I don't know enough. To, I, I, have, I, have an, I have an opinion, but I don't have any facts. So I want to make sure we have all the facts before I make some com any more comments. Thank you. What the changes in India's population and the we difference. We have a very special guest on the record. The interview. The role that the uh, U.S. side played at that point of time. Puri dunia ki nazar. Zoom, my phone is tapped. I can. Rising confidence of India and the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Communist China is the greatest threat. There will come a day that we will see far more radical extremist. I'm. Uh, I'm still a little perplexed by why... Your daily dose of news from India and across the world. Cutting-edge views and analysis. Tune into HD videos, click on the bell icon to subscribe.